Yeah, it calls everybody because they will continue. Yeah, it calls everybody because they will be. Yeah, it calls everybody because they will be playing a game called Better Half, requested by DI. So let's start, shall we? One awfully, awful evening. Sad young man sits his sorry ass down in a mysterious shop. He is our hero, Theo. Is that how I pronounce it? And out of Theo's mouth it comes this asinine play. Can you take my pain away, Miss Mage? What do you mean? I was just so tired. Try sleeping. <laughs> no, not like that. I really am at the end of my wits here. My happiest thought this month was, thank god everyone dies eventually. Nice, that's my happiest thought too. Huh? Anyway, the only magic potion you need is tequila. What? Sorrow's begun, guaranteed, yeah. I'd rather be an alcoholic than, than be suicidal. Please, Miss Mage. I don't want to be an alcoholic, I just want to be me again. Or the me I was before I became this miserable shell of a man. Sorry, friend, I can't help you. Mind spells are prohibited. But I know a therapist who... Ah, forget it. Was there another mage around here? No, wait. You don't want to get involved with him. That guy has no morals or care for anyone's well-being. Oh? Trust me, he's called the jerk face. By me. And it's never ended well for anyone who asks for his help. Besides, he still owes me like a hundred bucks. Anyway, he'll just screw you over. But try the pharmacist though, she sells coke under the table. Okay, thank you. I should get going. Seriously, don't involve yourself with that douchebag. Okay, thank you, goodbye. Daft as he is, Thea figures drugs won't make his depression any better. Except serotonin. Which it takes every day along with some, I don't know how it's pronounced, Quay Taipei, Quay Pei Taipei, I don't know. But I digress. The point is that Theo is looking for an instant and permanent care. There you go. Where is this jerk face? I heard he doesn't have a shop, he just makes spells at home. Let's save here. How do I go back? Oh, here. Try downtown. So Theo wanders downtown. He has no idea what exactly he is supposed to be looking for. A big neon sign that reads, Illegal spells here should be nice. But alas, no such luck. What did I think was going to happen? I'll never find a guy like this. Screw this, I'm such a moron. I'm just gonna buy myself some soda and go home. Theo would stuff quarters into the vending machine and but a sticker is blocking the coin slot. Alright, can I even have this? The sticker reads, My awesome spells, your sorry life. Just ask. It also has an address written on it with such tiny, tiny letters. Whatever, I'll check it out. If I get mugged or killed, then that's what the universe wants. If I get mugged or killed, then that's what the universe wants. Who cares, I'm worthless anyway. While Theo is busy berating himself, another man is drinking coffee at home. Uh, I'd keep it down, neighbor dog. Or he would be drinking it if it didn't taste like death. Uh, where'd you get these coffee grounds from? Our bio waste. What? Then what happened to the money I gave you? Dude, check this out. The little lady pulls the bouncy ball out of her pocket. Isn't this the coolest thing ever? Ooh, I guess. Look at it. <laughs> Cute. Well, hello, hello. How can I help you? Who is it? Piss off, Tal. Fine, I don't care anyway. I was asking just to be nice. I told you to get lost. Screw you. Ahem. Let's try this again. <laughs> How can I help you, my friend? Hi, um... My name is Theo. Dumbest name I've ever heard. Are you perhaps the jerk face? A certain someone calls me that, yeah. But you should call me Lula. Come on in, you're just in time for some coffee that was made from bio waste. Here, have some. 
Oh, thank you. He says, well, in reality, the last thing he wants is coffee. It's already past nine and Theo has a hard enough time getting to sleep as it is. But social awkwardness dictates he accepted anyway, or risk offending the man who called his name dumb. Yeah, we can't have that. And what brings you here, Theo? Why doesn't everyone, you know, just tire themselves out physically? Uh, I don't know. Maybe exercise, go to the gym. That'll help with the... Uh, that will help with sleep problems. Because your mind is tired, but your body isn't. It's looking for something. It's looking for something. That's why you're not... You don't fall asleep. Surely you know I'm a big bad miracle maker who ruins people's lives for a living. Or so I've heard myself described. Jealousy is such an ugly thing, isn't it? I'm really a really nice man, you know. Really. Well, I was hoping you'd have a spell for me. Theo feels like his request is dumb and embarrassing, which it is. So he figures this is a great moment to sip down the whole coffee in one gulp to postpone speaking. Big mistake. The foulest coffee Theo has ever tasted washes over his taste buds. <laughs> you like it? Don't spit it, don't spit, that's true, don't spit, don't. It's my sister's special blend of garbage. Theo uses sheer willpower to swallow the damn thing down. Good for you. There's no way in hell Lua didn't notice how much he hated every drop. It's got character. A killer character. Uh, glad you like it. Here, want another cup? Absolutely not. Tell him nicely. Say something like, like... I wonder if these choices matter. Uh, no, thank you. But that sounds so harsh. Is it too harsh? I bet it's too harsh. Ah, I'm taking too long. Say something now. Yes, please. Another cup would be nice. Oh, I am so glad to hear it. <laughs> God, why am I like this? Theo could do nothing but curse his life as Loa refills his cup. Coming here was a bad idea. So what kind of spell were you looking for? Well, um, about this close to killing myself. I see, so you need some help with that. I suggest a rope. It's the classic, wink wink. No. No, well if we want to get fancy we can. No, I want to get rid of those feelings, not myself. The hopelessness and such. Well, <laughs> boring. But sure, I might have something. The really nice man excuses himself to go looking for a book. Theo takes his chance to pour his coffee into the nearest potted plant. Lua returns flipping through a big, weathered-down book. It's got coffee stains all over it. Now, before you proceed, there's the issue of your payment. It's not my soul or something, right? <laughs> the hell would I do with that? It's cash or credit. Oh, how much? Here's something. Lua slams the tome onto the table. A splitting spell. It divides your existence in two. You can put all the negatives in one half and keep the good stuff. Oh? It does come with the minor inconvenience of cutting your life force in half too. But hey, weren't you gonna kick the bucket anyway? Well, sound good. Fear recalls the words of Miss Mage. It's never ended well for anyone who asked for his help. Fuck it, why not? Wonderful. By the way, your soul's mine now. Huh? And just like that, a spell wraps around Theo's body, lifting him up in the air. He struggles to get loose, but only manages to turn himself upside down. So now, not only is he floating in midair, but blood begins rushing to his head. Great. Wait, 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 wait. What? I thought it's cash or credit. I don't know, I changed my mind. Plus, you look kinda poor, so I figured you'd be thankful. No, wait, I could take a quick loan or something. Shut up and let's get this over with. And with that, Lua yanks the floating loser by the hair and pulls him in for a kiss. It'd be so romantic if it weren't for the fact that it wasn't romantic at all. Ah, rape. Theosol gets pulled out of his body via his mouth like a long, chewy marshmallow. And just as he figures he's going to choke on it, he passes out. But he didn't pass out from lack of oxygen, it's just that his soul had left his body. 
and with no brain for it to think with, he simply stopped doing that. Lua chops the soul in half and out pours all kinds of crap. And by crap I mean theories, feelings, and thoughts materialize as weird magical stuff. Luckily, Lua is an expert in weird magical stuff. He shoves the happy things in one half, and all the gross sad things into the other. Then he sews both halves shut, creating two smaller marshmallowy souls. The larger one quickly turns dark and murky and moldy, while the tiny one looks like it might actually be tasty. Lua shoves both souls right back into Theo's mouth, and that's when the pain starts. Oh boy does the pain start. With your emerging consciousness arguing over who gets to inhibit this lousy excuse of a body, Theo feels torn in half. Did I say feels? I mean he was actually physically being torn in half. All the while his organs attempt to grow larger to accommodate two souls. Extra fingers start pushing out of his hand while a brand new skull emerges out of Theo's left eye. While all this is happening, a little lady walks into the kitchen. What's all this noise? Oh hey Tal, I'm splitting this guy in two. Wanna watch? It doesn't look right, have you done this before? Nope, first time. Oh my god. Who's gonna clean this up? I believe it's your turn. Before they can start arguing over it, a sickening noise fills the room, and Theo successfully splits himself in two. Both existences hit the floor unconscious. Aha, it's done. I'm such a genius. Tal, go buy some premium coffee. I want to celebrate. Why do I always have to? There's barely any stores even open at this hour. Listen, you little princess, you can either go buy me coffee or clean up my spell. Ah, uh, fine. Lua hands Tal some money, and she proceeds to go buy another bouncy ball. <laughs> the next time Theo opens his eyes, he feels like he's been hit with a truck. The sun is already high up in the sky, so it must be midday. Not that he cares, he has never felt this awful in his entire life. Ah, uh, where am I? Hey, you're awake. Ah, who are you? You slept around the clock. <laughs> That's not what I asked. Hey, Lua, he woke up. Oh, that's right, I bought a spell from the jerk face. Well, hello there. Yeah, that jerk face right there. Can't believe he just left me on the floor. How long was I out? The girl said round the clock, so, uh, how are you feeling? Like shit. I feel worse than ever. Your spell didn't do crap. Wrong. My spell was perfect. It's just that you're the miserable half. Uh huh. I told you, didn't I? I split your existence and dumped all the negativity in one half. Congratulations, you're that half. You're kidding, right? But Lowell was not kidding. Come, let's go meet the lucky one. He's an early bird, unlike you. <laughs> Theo follows Loa to another room, miserable and terrified. He's not so sure he wants to meet the other half. He considers walking out and pretending none of this ever happened. But then... <laughs> A warm laughter echoes from the other room. Theo peeks to see who it is. Why is your drawing so much better than mine? <laughs> Because I cheated, my eyes weren't actually closed. <laughs> yeah, such nerve. <laughs> oh, look how happy you are. Worth it, wasn't it? That's me. Wow, that's super weird. It's like a 3D mirror. Now, what am I saying? <laughs> Aren't mirrors 3D too? No, wait, I mean, they are flat surfaces, so... uh. I want the spell undone. Hmm? Now, now, you agree to this. Yeah, yeah. Besides, I haven't decided what to do with you yet. Since I own your lives, uh, with an S. <laughs> lives, I thought it was my soul. It's lives now. The details of our deal just keep on changing, huh? <laughs> Indeed, oh, if you only had it in writing, my friend. You're learning so much today, huh? <laughs> Now, stop drawing on the walls and come help me with lunch. Okay. Sorry. 
So about, about, heh, <laughs> Jinx. Oh my god, he's annoying. God, I hate myself. No wonder I have no friends. Look at this moron. What were you saying? You go first. Actually, no, let me guess. You wanted to ask about the deal I made. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it, of course I know. I was going to ask you the same. But I bet you, no, I bet I knew that already. Uh, is it that a bizarre sentence? Um. Sure. Tell yourself to shut up. Shut the fuck up. Wow, excuse me. And by me, I mean you. <laughs> Christ, it's been less than five minutes and I've already had it with you. Well, I've had it with myself years ago, so tell me something I don't know. But I'm pal. <laughs> uh, just, how is it being happy? It's pretty great. I still remember all the bad things, but they feel so long ago. I had forgotten that breathing could be so easy. I don't know how else to describe it. I just feel, well, happy? Yeah, well, I feel like my chest is a black hole. And the only thing keeping me from collapsing into myself is the barbed wire tearing me apart. Jesus, could I be more melodramatic? So hey, maybe we shouldn't talk. You're kind of bumming me out. Huh? What the hell? You're blowing me off? Aren't you the one person supposed to take care of me? Well, I mean, you say that. But when did I ever care for myself? Okay, he got me there. But hey, look at the bright side. I can finally reach to suck myself. <laughs> Not interested? Or maybe later. I'm out of here. But we didn't pay yet. You take care of that. Since you're the only beneficiary here. This is some bullshit. Why did I have to get the negative stuff? And I'm supposed to pay for this? This is so... While digging through his pockets, a terrifying realization hits Theo. Where are my keys? And my phone? And my wallet? Come to think of it, what on earth am I wearing? Looks like something Jerkface would wear. Great, how do I get home now? Because I'm not going back to the other me. Sigh. I don't have any friends that I could go to. Nor do I have any relatives around here. Not that I would go for them either. They're just a bunch of strangers with the same last name. I can't just stand here for God knows how long. People are staring. Oh God. People are staring. I look stupid. I bet if Wonderwell is going to take notice of me standing here and think I'm stupid. I need to go somewhere. But I don't have any money so I can't even go to a store. Because God forbid I exit one without buying anything. Well I guess I left Miss Mage's shop without buying anything. Welcome- oh. It's you again. Hi. What brings you here this time? Well, um, oh shit. I have to edit here, fellas. Because I have to prepare for work, so this is better half. Is this game dev the same person that made the coffin of Andrew something and Lele whatever? Uh, the game that made Twitter angry for some reason? <laughs> yeah, so far so good. I like the writing. It's really relaxing. It's lax. It's, I don't, I don't know what it's called, is it called freeform or, I, I guess any, anything can be freeform nowadays, so yeah. If you want to try the game for yourselves, the links are in the description, that is all for today. Stay safe and take care of yourselves.